Shalom. Kohalo la Yahweh, Bashim el Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world are going to call God, Bahashim, and the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world are going to call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true name is the Heavenly Father, and the only begotten Son is Yahweh, Bashim el Shah. Shalom also to you brothers, you Akim that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Shalom once again to you Akim. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all forefathers, though you do look like the heathen nations, is scattered amongst which the heathen nations, as you've seen on this chart, are the nations starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline your lineage goes back to these people, as you see right here on this chart, through the man. And if it's spirit, bear witness with this word, this truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird. Man, woman, the child, this does apply to you. You are Israelites, though you do look like the heathen that you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people on this chart right here. Okay, so you will have Israelites once again looking like the heathen, but they're indeed Israelites because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28 to 15, verse 1 down. Their spirit bear witness with this word that they the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Most importantly, once again, their lineage goes back to these people through the man. No matter what they come looking like, if their father's an Israelite, then that makes them an Israelite as well. To you few Israelite sisters, you few Akwaf that do listen and learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this world is going out to, Shalom to you as well. Once again, to you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you could bond, consist, and make up. The 12 tribes of Israel, you are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son. You can call Jesus Christ once again, Yahweh Shah. And um, as you know, so-called white Jesus is under attack, okay? You got, uh, which this was some days ago, but it's still going on now. It says you got the basically the, so, you know, the Black Lives Matter activist, you know, Sean King, one of the dudes that... I think that's him on the screen right there. He wants, you know, the so-called white Jesus statue removed. Okay? So I'm going to play this as he talks. I'm going to pause and get some scriptures. On soon. Everything is going to be gone soon. If we don't stand up. Yesterday, Sean King said, yeah, I think the statues of white Europeans, uh, they claim uh, that white Europeans claim are Jesus should come down. They're a form of white supremacy. So now what he's talking about is, is all religious paintings and statues. He said in the Bible, when the family of Jesus wanted to hide and blend in, guess where they went? Egypt, not Denmark. Tear them down. All murals, all stained glass windows of white Jesus and his European mother and their white friends should come down. They're a gross form of white supremacy created as tools of oppression, racist propaganda. They should come down all murals and stained glass windows of white Jesus and his European mother and their white friends should also come down. They're a gross form of white supremacy. This is the same kind of nonsense that got, that got Megan... And that's true, man. Okay? Because what, first and foremost, what does the Lord, you know, what does he look like according to the scriptures? You know? We dealing with, you know, scriptural facts, man. You know? Let me get one, one, uh, just one scripture real quick. What does the what does who you people say the Messiah look like, man? The Son look like, okay? Let me see. This is uh First Peter four and one, is eleven. Actually, he says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do as of the ability which Yahweh giveth, that Yahweh all things may be glorified through Yahweh. Shout to whom praise and dominion forever and ever, man. Okay. And what according to the oracles of Yahweh? What does what does he look like? Well, let's get Revelations 1 and 13. 
which means the what? The revealing. Okay? To reveal. Okay? This is uh Revelations 1 and 13. It says, In the midst of seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, and girded about the paps with a golden girdle, his heads and his hairs were white like wool. Okay? And who has woolly textured hair? Okay? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You even got other nations with woolly texture, texture here, okay? And, and his eyes was a flame of fire, okay? So let me get a depiction. Let's get that up. Bear with me. Okay? So his hairs were white like wool. Right? His hairs was white like wool, right? And his eyes, you know... As fire, man. So, let me tell you something. If you look at the depiction that they pushed in this world, that image that they pushed in this world, on the right side, that's so-called white Jesus, Cesare Borgia, you know? Does he have white hair, you know, as wool? That's not woolly hair that he has, okay? Your eyes is a flame of fire, okay? So, what is this, man? Who is that, man? You know? That's strike one right there. You know? It's going to go into it. You know? Let me finish it off. I hate when this thing acts up like this. Bear with me. So Revelation 1. And pick up where I left off. The 15th verse. It says in his feet. Like onto fine brass. And what is brass? A brass is a derivative of brown, a dark brown, you know? Okay? It says, and as if they burn in a furnace, and when you burn something in the furnace and that fire is put out, what color is it? A black, a, a, a dark color, man. A black color, man. You know? And his voice as the sound of many waters, man. Okay? So, clearly, that image you saw what I just pulled up of so-called white Jesus, that does not fit the description of what it says in here, man. Okay? D d d see? If you if if Yahweh shot was on the planet Earth, which he was at one point, the world isn't called Jesus Christ, he will be amongst who? His people. You know? This is he uh, Hebrews 7 and 1. Or 14, not one. It says, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, which Judah is you so called African Americans, also go by so called Negroes or black. Okay? If the Heavenly Father was to uh, be here again today, okay, he will be amongst the tribe of Judah, man. Okay? The head tribe of all 12 tribes, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood, man. Okay? So. It's right there, man. The description clearly shows that he's a so-called black man. He's not a so-called white man. Okay? But you were uh, able... Because if you go to Revelation 20... Right? This goes into it in this chapter. This uh Revelation 21. It says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, which that was what? Europe. A region of Europe. And a great chain in his hand. Okay? And what is the chain with synonymous was putting a, a, a captivity, right? And it says, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, which means a deceiver, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. It's talking about a man. Okay? Talking about a nation of people. Okay? The dragon could be known in the scriptures as the Roman Empire, and also Esau Edom, man, which, who was the Edomites, who was ruling over the uh, uh, the pagan Roman ancient pagan Roman Empire and ruling the modern Rome, which is through America, man, was come back in the form of the EU, NATO, and America. Okay, and that at that time, this was going back during the time, basically starting what they call the Dark Ages. Okay, it says so. He these Edomites said so at one point they were uh they were bound they were bound up. They went, were in captivity under who? They were in captivity under Jake, man. The southern kingdom mainly, okay? During the dark ages, man. Okay? 
And he's going to go into it, it says, And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season, man. Okay? And it says, set a seal upon him, meaning what? He was going to be, uh, uh, the Lord put the spirit on Jake to put uh, uh, these Edomites in captivity. And that's what happened. Okay, during the Dark Ages, or they call it the Holy Roman Empire or the uh, the Byzantine uh, Empire, man, which lasted a little over a thousand years, man. Okay, Jake was ruling during that time. That's why they tell you the Dark Ages, you know, they don't know what happened during that time period, you know. They lack a uh, 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 history on that time period because they don't want to uh, own up to the fact that you so-called Negroes were ruling and you were above them at some point, you know. But... The Lord put the spirit on Jake to put uh, uh to put them in captivity, and they weren't able uh, uh to get out of that captivity until the Lord basically allowed that captivity to uh uh end, you know. And that happened when you know the black plague fell upon Jake. You know Jake fell, you know. It says I'm going out to the seventh verse, and when the thousand years are expired, okay, Satan was talking about his physical counterpart, you know. Shall be loosed out of his prison, okay? And that, and and when when Jake fell, they came back. You know, who's gonna say that? You know, Revelation thirteen and three. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded. You know, bear with me, as it were wounded to the death because going back. The ancient pagan Roman Empire, which Esau was ruling, it fell. And that's when they were they were on the bottom beneath Jake, right? And his daily wound was healed. And all the world wandered after the beast. And how was the daily wound healed? It was healed, you know, starting, you know, during the Renaissance era when, you know, they started paying over, which I'm going to get that, you know, the images of the original, you know, judges, man. They started covering up the uh, original images, okay? I'm going to get that. And... It was mainly healed, you know, starting through the Renaissance, but it's mainly healed through, once again, America, the EU, and NATO, okay? They make up this new beast system. This is Rome, the Rome, Rome all over again, okay? They came together on something that was called the Treaty of Rome. Why is that not a coincidence, you know? Because they're the same, the same spirits. So, okay, so they they are, we in that time now, and when the thousand years expire, Satan, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. This is what they've been in. They've been in power. This came to, to pass, man. This is why you see them in power, okay? It says, and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand, is as the, sand of the sea. And this is what they've done. They deceived the nations, man, Okay? They mostly deceived you, okay, with white Jesus, man. So-called white Jesus, man. Because clearly the scriptures say he don't look like that. So who the hell is this dude? A idol. That's what he is. When you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans say God is, you know, you say Jesus, you're talking about a whole nother uh, power. You're not talking about Yahweh Shah. You're not talking about Yahweh Shemel Shah. You know? You're talking about, when you say Jesus, you're basically talking about Esau, man. Okay? And this is what he's done. He's gone out to deceive the nations, man. Okay? And he was allowed to do that because that's prophecy that had to be fulfilled. Okay? Let me get uh, Job 9.24. Okay? It says, Job 9, this proves that they're the wicked. Job 9.24 says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered, covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay? Look up the um the book, which I've done videos on it. Look up the book, The Russian Icon, which that book now goes for four thousand to six thousand dollars now. That book was not that much at first. It's just because Esau does not want the truth to get out. Okay, but if you look up the uh, Russian Icon book, it sh clearly shows you that the original saints, the original people, in that at that time that was ruling at that time, it was mostly Jake, man. Okay, the Southern Kingdom mainly, the, the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man, are people. But he, what he did, starting with the Renaissance era, is he went over those images and he what? He is going to say it. 
in the uh, Apocrypha. It's going to sound similar. Feel with me. First Maccabees, the Maccabees, the book of Maccabees. I believe the third chapter is going to say it. Let me get to the point. Let me type it in. Alright, um, yep, first Maccabees, I started first Maccabees, uh, four, uh, three, and, um, 45 says, now Jerusalem lay void as wil a wilderness, there was none of her children that went in or out, the sanctuary also was trying down, and aliens kept the stronghold, because these heathens, you know, this was during the time of Esau, when he was going by the Greeks, these heathens, they basically came in on us, you know, destroyed our temple, and they destroyed our people, you know. It says, the heathen had their habitation in that place, and joy was taken from the ja from Jacob, and the pipe with the harp ceased. Wherefore, the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to, to Maspa, Maspa over against Jerusalem. For Maspa was the place where they pro prayed aforetime in Israel. And it says, they... Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book of the law when the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And that's what they did. Esau painted. He covered over those images. That's how you know he's the wicked. Okay, you don't see a Chinese uh, 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 Jesus. You don't see a uh, Arab Jesus. You don't see a uh, 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 Japanese Jesus. You don't see any other Jesus but a so-called white Jesus. That proves they're the wicked. Okay, that's what they did, and they deceived everybody, including you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, into believing that that was the Messiah, man. Okay, and off that image alone is going to say in the book of Daniel's, they use so called white Jesus and they also use Christianity. And I'm going to show you that the uh, if you look up this right here. You look this up. This is what a lot of people don't know either. It says the good ship Jesus, the beginning of the slave trade. Let me repeat. It says the good ship Jesus, the beginning of the slave trade. It says Jesus of Lebec, name of first slave ship to grace the Americas, man. This was the name of the first slave ship, man. What has come to be referred to as the good ship Jesus was in fact the Jesus of Lebec, a 700 ton ship purchased by King Henry you know, I believe that's the ninth. You know, no, it's not the ninth. The eighth, if I'm not mistaken, from the uh, has said league, a merchant alliance between the cities of Hamburg and Lubeck in Germany. Twenty years after his purchase, the ship in the this was in disrepair was lent to Sir John Hawkins by Queen Elizabeth, because remember you had Jake ruling Europe, so they was taking a lot of Jakes. Out of Europe, mainly Southern Kingdom, and bringing them to the Americas, okay, the Americas, and also you had the other tribes being scattered uh, around as well. That's why they call it the triangular uh, uh, slave trade, okay? Says, as you had slaves going to the west, you also had slaves coming com, um, coming to the east. We're scattered all over the place. It says Hawkins, a cousin of Sir Francis Drake, was granted permission from Queen Elizabeth for her. For, for his first voyage in 1562, and he was allowed to carry Africans, which they were not Africans, they were uh, Israelites, to the Americas with their own free consent, and had and he agreed to his condition. this condition. Hawkins had a reputation for being a religious man who required his crew to serve God daily and to love one another, and that's the same vibration they push on you today through Christianity, you know? Sir Francis Drake accompanied Hawkins on this voyage and su subsequent others, Drake was himself devoutly re religious. Services were held on board twice a day. Off the coast of Africa near Sierra Leone, Hawkins captured 300, 300 to 500 slaves, mostly by plundering Portuguese ships, but also through violence and subterfuge, promising Africans free land and riches in the New World, man. Okay? So he tricked them. 
Okay? And I'm a, that's the scripture I was about to get. That's what they do. They come at you with smiles, hugs, kisses, good talk. Uh, you know, when they get you right where they want you, that's when the slaughter starts. This is Daniels. I believe it's Daniels 8. Yep, this is Daniels 8. In 23, it says, In the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the fore, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark senses shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. Okay? Because the Heavenly Father allowed Esau to do all this. Okay? Due to what? Putting us on punishment, but also he had to uh, 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 reign in order for the kingdom of heaven to happen. Okay? It says... And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and holy people. And this is what Esau has been doing, okay, since the beginning of time. He's been destroying our people, man, okay? Starting, uh, you know, even going back to the serpent. But it really started with Cain because Cain was the first murderer. He slew Abel. It was Cain in spirit. It was Esau. And Abel, being the righteous, he represented us, Jake, you know? And then it passed down to Jacob and Esau, which we are right now. Where we at right now with it. Okay? And he's been destroying you Jakes spiritually, mentally, physically. Okay? On all levels, man. He's been destroying you, man. Okay? Everything he does is uh, some sort sort of fashion, okay, is to destroy Jake. And it might look like it's uh, to help or benefit you, but really it's to destroy you on some level. It says... And through his policy, also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. And he mainly did that in the love of Christianity, man. Okay? They destroyed people all Christianity, man. Murdered people off that, man. Okay? And it started with our people, man. As you read in the portion that I read in that article, man. For one, the ship was named after, okay, after the, the the ship was named Jesus, you know, that you two thirds are in love with, same name that they used was the same name of that first ship that brought you over here, man, and captivity, man, and chains, man, bondage, okay. And what did he tell them? You were going, you were going to get free land. They believed that, and what happened? They got conquered, man, and we still in this predicament to this day, okay. But this is how he destroyed the world, man, mainly through that image, man. The so-called white Jesus, because that's why nobody touches them. Because, you know, if you try to touch an Edomite, you know, what's going to pop up in here? Oh, you can't do that. You know, that's Jesus, people. They're the closest thing to God. You know, that's what that image does. It pushes out a, 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 a superiority on these Edomites, man. When they're not superior, man. It puts a, a, a bright, positive light on them. When they're not that, man. You know? They ain't that. They're the complete opposite. You know? It says, And he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, which is Jehovah's shot, but he shall be broken without hand. And you being broken, okay, uh, uh, without hand, okay, via this word right now. And it's going to say that in 1 Thessalonians. I'm going to start 1 Thessalonians 2 and 1. It says, For your, soul, for your souls, brethren, know our interest in unto you that is not vain. Well, that's not it. Slack it. All right, this is it. Second Thessalonians two and one says, "Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shah is at hand." And this is why you seeing Esau being exposed. This is why you seeing up, uh, the up the uproars of the people, famines, you know, wars and rumors of wars. You know, murders. This is why you're seeing everything happen on the planet Earth. Violence, period. Because we, the, the more closer we get to Yahweh Shah's uh, second coming, you know, the worse things are going to get. All the way up to the destruction of Babylon the Great and all America. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And who fell away? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You fell away from your heritage, your customs, okay, who you are. Okay, 
and you've been calling yourself the what, what your oppressor has given you for one as a culture and as a, a ethnicity black african american negro colored you know they, they call you all these things okay latinos you know just all these different native seminole indians okay that's not who we are but that's that falling away that happened we discontinued from our heritage and mainly the way he was able to get you to discontinue from your heritage is through that that image the so-called white jesus okay it says, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which is destruction. And he's been revealed, man. Now, it's on your news channel that that image does nothing but push, you know, a white supremacy, man. So-called white supremacy. That's all it does. Okay? You can't get around that. That's all it does, man. So-called Jesus is white. The apostles is white. Noah and Ham, Shem, and Japheth, the Egyptians is white. This man tells you that the Egyptians was white. But clearly, the Egyptians were a dark race people, man. You know? This is what he does. Iconoclasm. I believe that's what they call, man. Okay? Says, Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High or that is worship. Okay? And that image is worshipped throughout the planet Earth, man. And people don't understand that that's a, that's a deception. That image is not the true depiction of who the world only calls Jesus Christ, man. The world who the world only calls Jesus Christ, as I got earlier, is a so-called black man. And people are flying out. So that's why people are knocking your, your statues over and people want anything that has to do with you uh, uh, out the way now. And I have another video coming up on that. It says, so that he as the most high city in the temple of Yahweh was showing himself that he is God, man. And this is what he's been doing. He's been walking around the planet Earth acting like He's the chosen people and acting like he is the most high, man. Like he has some God complex. And people, even us at some point before the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah entered into us to wake up and see these things, everybody was worshiping this man, okay, as God, man. Well, in the world, I didn't really look at him as God. I looked at him as what this word said, a bunch of murderers, man, a liars, man. Okay? It says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know with withholding that he might be revealed in this time. We re he's being revealed, man. Your whole nation is being revealed. The pedophile rings, the the uh, uh, uh the, the the theft, you know, these secret uh how the CIA and the uh, you know FBI how they're all in on the uh, rackets and everything, you know, pedophile. I said pedophile rings early, you know, sacrifices, you know, blood rituals, wicked rituals, all these different the satanic Hollywood, all these things is being brought forth to the light. Okay, now, uh, these different statues and the so-called white Jesus being one of them, okay, what those people really did is being revealed now. Because nobody really questioned, you know, or, or considered what these people did to get themselves as a statue, man. But now, we in the information age. Now it's coming out. He's being revealed in this time now. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. And this is why he's getting ready to come with that wrath, man. Okay, because he was able to prosper, you know, behind these lies. But now the lies are being torn down. Now he's 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 naked. He's exposed. Only thing he left he got to do now is just to come out with that great wrath. And this is what you're witnessing with this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, trying to lock everybody down in the house, getting them, you know, conditioned to uh, 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 when they go by somebody to stay six feet apart. Okay. This is why he's doing that, because he's, he's hurrying up and trying to uh, 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 implement this new world order, because he's been exposed now. He can't do it on his time period. He has to hurry up and do it now, okay? He's that mystery of iniquity, man. Everything that's wrong with the planet Earth is him, okay? Only he who now let will let until he be taken out of the way, and the Lord is allowing him to do certain things until the Lord says, you know what? It's time. Get him out. Get rid of him. This is what Yahweh shot. This is the purpose of Yahweh shot. This is what Yahweh shot is getting ready to do. Yahweh is getting ready to send Yahweh shot back to take Esau out of power, man. As it says, you know, in Isaiah 63 and 1, who is that that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Okay? It says, and then, the eighth verse, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth through the prophets. Okay? Right now, it's spiritual warfare. Okay, Esau is spiritually being taken down. Okay, he's going to bring the carnal warfare. And that's when the Heavenly Father is going to lift that standard up. 
Okay? It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay? So, first, in order for the bright the Lord to come physically and destroy Esau, he has to be exposed. You know? And now he's being exposed. So, what's next? The destruction. Okay? So, I'm going to have to end it right there. I can keep going, but, you know, my break time's up. I'm at the gig, but, uh. Call hello, la Yahweh, ba Hashem el Shah. Shalom to the elect. Yahweh writes out this was edifying. Ba ba kasha, ba 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 ha yapya, ba ha yapya. Shalom to the elect once again. Also to you few Israelite sisters that do listen and learn. Shalom.